The Funeral, Part 2, The Scene is Alabama, 1948. 1948 is seen in large letters on the screen. It is a wedding. Outdoor wedding scene on a hillside. The camera slowly pans low mountains in the distance. A little pond at the foot of the hill. Top of the hill, next to the white-sided house, is an arch set up. The minister stands just out of, outside of the arch on the back. The invited clerk is standing there waiting for the bride. Strains of Here Comes the Bride are heard. The camera moves to focus on the bride. She is young, attractive. She's wearing an ivory taffeta dress with a long lace train. She has a white net veil with imitation pearls sewn in. Her father is walking her up the aisle made by two groups of chairs <clears throat> set up on the lawn. The little girls have left a trail of rose petals. The camera pans the crowd. Here and there, women are wiping their eyes. Ruth Drake walks up and takes Buddy's arm. Minister begins a talk, but it is not clear. Sound and focus distorted. Finally, it focus clears, the sound clears. Minister, do you, Ruth Drake, take this man, Buddy de Clerk, to be your lawfully wedded husband? Ruth Drake, I do. Minister, do you, Buddy de Clerk, take this woman, Ruth Drake, to be your lawful wedded wife? Buddy, I do. Minister, by the power vested me by the state of Alabama, I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Buddy and Ruth de Clerk kiss. The minister continuing what God has joined together may man never break asunder. And the wedding march plays as the couple turns, and Buddy and Ruth de Clerk turn and walk down the grassy aisle. The visitors offer best wishes and clapping. Buddy and Ruth go over to where the And a bridesmaids helping Ruth the clerk get her wedding dress off and into her traveling clothes. Chatter of the young ladies. Inside the door of Ruth the clerk's bedroom. Ruth comes out of the room. Buddy is standing impatiently at the bar. Buddy, hey, you look good in that outfit. I'm ready to travel. How about you? Ruth, well, you're just going to have to leave some. T We're going to have to leave sometime. Let me just say goodbye to mom and dad. I'll be right back. Sure. I'll meet you in the car. Ruth the clerk runs down the stairs. Her parents are already standing outside. She runs up to her parents, gives her mom a peck on the cheek, and gives her dad a big hug, wipes a tear from her face, and then turns and runs towards the car. Buddy is opening the back door for his mom to get into the car. Then he gets in the driver's side and hollers to Ruth. 
Come on, Ruth, baby, let's get this show on the road. Ruth opens the passenger door and gets in. As she gets in, she looks at Ethel, the clerk, sitting at the back seat. Ruth closes the door but stays on her side of the car. Buddy, continuing, hey, hey, come on over here. We just got ourselves married. He reaches over and grabs her arm, pulling her to him. Ruth does not seem to be excited. Ruth whispers in Buddy's ear, what is your mom doing here? Buddy, in a normal voice, oh, mom is going to Texas with us. Then we will continue on our honeymoon. Right, mama dear? Ethel, Ruth, it'll be okay. It will just be a couple of days to get home, and then you two lovebirds can be on your own. Ruth, the clerk, groans and scoots down in the seat. Buddy starts the car and heads back to the highway. There are tin cans, old shoes, etc. tied to the back of the car, and it becomes quite a racket. The thump-thump of the expansion joints gets louder, along with the noise of the cans. Buddy gets irritated with the noise, gets out and cuts off the decorations and leaves them on the side of the road, and then accelerates down the road. The sunlight fades while the thump of the expansion joints on the highway goes on. The camera pulls onto the back of the car. It has just married written in shoe polish on the glass of the car. The camera pulls back and swings towards the sign for a 40s motel. Scene, motel somewhere in Alabama. The motel has a pink neon flamingo sign that blinks off and on. The name is Pink Flamingo Motel. Reasonable rates, private rooms, bathrooms, vacancy. Buddy, well, here's where we're going to spend the night. Are y'all ready for this? Ruth gives a small gasp. The car pulls up to the overhang. Ethel goes out with her purse and into the lobby, gets out with her purse and then goes into the lobby. Ruth, why is she here with us? I'm not marrying her and she's on her honeymoon with us. Buddy, well, when you marry, you marry the whole family. Besides, she's saving us a lot of money staying with us and it's only for two days. But Buddy, Buddy, it will be okay. Ethel comes out of the motel office. I got our keys. We've got a room, we got room eight. It has a double bed with a cot and a tub and a shower. I'm tired. Don't worry, I'll sleep on the cot. You will never know I'm here. The clerk said to park right over there in front of the room. Buddy, you pull the car over there and I'll go on and open the door. Buddy moves the car in front of room eight. Buddy and Ruth the clerk get out of the car and start to get the luggage out. Ethel says, Ruthie, dear, if you just grab these bags for me, I know Buddy's tired from a long day. Ruth picks up her suitcase and struggles to grab Ethel's also. Buddy says, here, let me help. <clears throat> he takes the motel key from his mom and goes and opens the door, holding it open while Ruth brings the suitcases in. When Ruth sets the suitcases down, Buddy says, hey, Ruth, baby, come out here so I can carry you over the threshold. Ethel. Now, buddy, be careful with your back. You don't want to hurt it by lifting anything too heavy. A shot of a wry look on Ruthie's face. Oh, mother, buddy says, that won't be a problem. Buddy lifts Ruth the clerk and carries her over the threshold. Inside the room. The room has brick walls painted white. There's a worn rug on the red painted concrete floors. In one corner is a metal portable bed folded up. There are a couple of faded ocean scenes hanging on the wall. Buddy says, there you go. We did get all that. We did that all proper. Mother dear, would you like to get ready for bed? We will let you go first, won't we, Ruthie dear? Ruth, oh, okay. Go ahead, Ethel. Ruth, Ethel says, oh, you can just call me mother. We're family now. Ruth, oh, Ethel, uh, I mean, uh, mother. Ethel gives Ruthie a big smile, grabs her night clothes, and goes into the bathroom. Buddy comes over to Ruth and puts his arms around her. You will learn to love mother, dear. She's such a wonderful person. Here, give me a big kiss. They kiss, but Ruth does not put her all into it. Now then, says Buddy, I'm just going to read for a little while while Mama gets ready. 
Then she'll be out in a minute, and you can go in and put on your fancy get-up. Ruth starts pulling through her suitcase. Buddy says, I'm glad Mama was able to get that cot in here. It's going to save us some money. Well, I better get that cot ready for Ma. Buddy takes the linens that are stacked on top of the cart and folds the folding cart. He starts to put the linens, the folding cot, he starts to put the linens on it. Ruth goes up to Buddy and speaks quietly. Buddy, does she really have to sleep in here with us? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? Buddy, oh, don't worry about it. Ethel comes out of the bathroom. Buddy's still working with a cot and moves it to the far walls. Ethel, it's your turn, Buddy. Buddy, okay, Mama, but I think Ruth should go ahead while I set this contraption, get this contraption open and set up. Okay, Ruth, go on in and get ready. Ruth goes into the bathroom. The camera follows. When she closes the door, she breaks down in quiet sobs. She pulls herself together and changes into a negligee, returns to the room, trying to seem cheerful. Ruth, okay, buddy, it's your turn now. Buddy grabs his PJs and goes into the bathroom. Ethel turns to Ruth. She sat down at the dresser with the mirror and begins brushing her waist-long hair. Ethel says, Ruthie, dear, I know that Buddy seems a little rough around the edges sometimes, but he really is a dear person. You will learn to fall in love with him. He just adores you. You will see. Yes, uh, 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 Mama. There, that's a good girl. Buddy pops out of the bathroom in his PJs. Well, it's time to go to bed. Everybody ready? Ethel says, I'm ready. It's been a long day. Ruth says, I guess so. Ethel gets into her cot. Ruth gets onto the bed, lies on her back, and clutches the covers to her chest. Buddy turns off the light and gets into the bed. He slides up to Ruth and whispers, I've been waiting for this here for a long time. Come over here. Ruth stays where she is. Buddy says, come on, there's nothing to worry about. Mother dear's over there on the other side of the room. Ruth, through clenched teeth, not with your mother in the room, no. Buddy jumps out of bed, goes out to the car, and lies down on the front seat. Fade out. Thank you.